Hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. So reason for this update is because we are moving higher. Um, it looks like this wave four was in, probably then a triangle because we hit the support area and we've now broken above the range, above that B wave high, the breakout point here highlighted in the previous video, this kind of triangle shape. And um, yeah, I did outline to you that it could either be an ABC or an ABCDE triangle. Now with the latest low that we made there, that higher low, um, you know, you can recognize that triangle. We had it in yellow highlighted here, that triangle shape. And um, yeah, as I said before, a wave four can be a triangle. D and E, it must look like that then. <clears throat> and um, we look, it looks like that we're now on track to deliver this fifth wave. Just want to take the opportunity in this video to remind you of the targets but from what i can see when we reach this target this should complete a complete impulse which means we should then expect a b wave to the downside so it may be wise if you entered down here for example in the white support area maybe to move up your stop loss now that's of course entirely up to you um, but we can now specify the target quite closely. There's two ways of calculating target. First one is to take the length of the third wave, go to the low of the fourth, which was here basically at the end of the E wave around 26.46 cents. Target would be 28.16 cents based on that. But there are there is another way of calculating the target and that is to take the length of the wave one and also to go to the low of the fourth wave and then we get the target range between 27.75 cents and um, 28.54. So in this range, these three levels should be relevant for this wave. And um, it will be interesting to see if we um, stop there. This to me at the moment, at the moment looks, now let me just go really to the lower level wave count. So if we say C wave ended here, then possibly we had the D wave actually here, corrective structure, and then maybe the E wave was already in down here. And yeah, I mean, this is really micro counting. No, it has to have been in here. And then, I mean, you could say this is a wave one, right? Wave two, and we're now in the third wave. Um, this is quite a long wave one though. So if that's the case, you would look at for the wave three. Okay, it makes sense to for the wave three to reach 27.7 cents. We might be in that. And then there should be a fourth and a fifth. So yeah, I think in that region that we just identified would be quite likely. Um, so it, it can squiggle a bit higher. We have no evidence that this top is in already, but be prepared um, for reversal here shortly. This impulse then worked actually out quite nicely. And um, we would then expect as soon as the high is in in this area, somewhere there, so I'm going to highlight that actually here in color, this should be target and we should then move down and based on these targets, let's just go with the, with the middle one here. Let's just say we get to that 28.16 cent level. The reverse of the retracement target is then located between the 38.2% FIP and the 61.8. That is normally what you would expect for a B wave when the wave A was an impulse. Um, this can shift a little bit depending on how high we really go, but this is sort of at the moment my best view of what ADA could achieve. So it looks good. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.